Hey guys, Steve here with the strategy session for August 27th, 2014. I uh, wanted to do a quick video and just touch on the positions that we are involved with. Um, also take a quick look at the market. But I'll be honest guys, in the last few days, uh, not much has really transpired. Very slow. Um, I think everybody's getting ready for the long weekend, so I hope you are as well. I know I am. Uh, you know, Definitely, it's a good time to make sure we enjoy the last few official days of summer uh, before the kids go back to school. I actually had kindergarten orientation for my oldest son this morning, so that was a little, uh, little bit of a shocker, but you know, it is what it is at this point. So, anyway, you know, S&P 500 really just moved sideways today. You know, we're not going to overanalyze this stuff. Um, I'm sure the commentary from the last few days is going to hold true. Uh, Apple. We're going to make this nice and short and sweet tonight and let you guys enjoy this beautiful day here. Apple moved up. You know, we've had a nice run off of this 94.20. Came up, pulled back for two days, and now broke out again. Um, so, you know, this one's definitely running. Uh, we're well above that $100 level. It actually came right into that uh, $100.65. $100 $100 so, that's where it finished. Uh, again, you know, closing higher. Stop still down here, 94.29. Um, you know, eventually we'll probably be able to move stop up to this somewhere around 97 or 98. But we need some kind of reference to go by at this point. ADM, another. Uh, you know, this has been essentially coming, moving lower in a nice tight cons um, channel. Right, nice tight channel right, right through there. So this is this could be what pe a lot of people call bull flag, uh, meaning that you know you had a nice strong move higher, and very controlled move back, and then eventually a breakout. I don't know if that's what's happening yet, but um, it's kind of what seems like to be happening. I think our next you know reference for stop could be this forty-eight eighteen, um, but that's a while down the road. And also we have to see you know how we react. At these levels, let's take this off to make that easier. There we go. So, you know, we have to see how we react at these levels. Um, you know, if we come back into 48 and bounce, obviously that would be a great, a great reference for a stop as well. AMT up a little bit today, just moved sideways. You know, essentially, I like we talked about between 100 and 96. I think is a, a good spot that that's going to consolidate. Next stop level on this will be 94.20. Um, but we just need that 50-day moving average to move higher. Air products down a little bit. You know, again, I think we're uh, ultimately, I think it's just moving sideways, allowing this 50-day moving average to catch up, which is perfectly fine. If you look at when we actually entered, where the 50-day moving average was compared to the stock, and where it is now, you can see that you know just by the passage of time that 50 day moving average has been allowed to move higher and you know should be providing some support but i th i think this 131 level uh you know is eventually going to become our next stop disney you know really just a, a little bit of a move higher today after two two larger down days okay so, you know, again, this could just easily be consolidating. Um, what happens here towards the end of the summer is a lot of traders take, obviously, this week off. Not a lot of volume. And therefore, stocks, you know, it seems a little slow in the markets. EQR, you know, we had this nice breakout. Now it looks like we're coming back testing these, potentially testing the breakout. And eventually, you know, the 50-day and the trend line uh, right now stop 6408. So... At this point, really not much to do here in EQR. Expedia was down almost 1% or a little over 1% today. Um, so, unfortunately, it looks like, you know, we're just going to consolidate in here, which is perfectly fine. You, we talked about this the other day about, you know, potentially that this leading to some more sideways consolidation just because of how far and how fast it's, it's run. Uh, again, similar to, I believe it was APD. You know, we want to let this 50-day moving average kind of give it some time to catch up. But you'll see here that APD, or I'm sorry, Expedia, has not even come close to touching that 50-day moving average. Okay, since since it moved above it back here in May, 
hasn't even come close. So, you know, I would I would rather see us bounce off of this trend line. Um, if we started to go towards the 50 day, that would that would kind of be a little bit of a red flag that maybe this trend was ending. Fidelity, you know, coming back, testing the top of the box. Stop still 5486. Nothing not to like about this. If you look at the weekly, you look at the daily, everything's breaking out. Um, you know, from their consolidations. So I think you know, pretty much within reach of all-time highs, that's fine for me. General Dynamics. This was one we entered. I, uh, I think it was last Thursday. And you know, if, again, looking at the weekly, looking at the daily, nothing not to like here. We're within, you know, the highs were 124.89. You know, we're within a dollar of that. That's fine. Nothing to uh, worry about there. One fourteen fifty still remains to stop. H and R block really just moving sideways above this consolidation. Again, looking at the weekly, nice breakout from this long base, moved higher, came down, did a little, did a little touch and go, and uh, now it looks like you know we're going to consolidate, let this fifty day catch up, and eventually hopefully break higher. We do have earnings coming up on the fourth. I think it was the fourth or the fifth. Sorry, the third after the market. That's a nice uh, welcome back. A um, little present from from Mr. Market here. So that'll be the Tuesday after. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's that's Wednesday. That'll be Wednesday of next week. So you know that could obviously provide a move one you know a substantial move one way or another. Uh, I would really like to see this $33 level hold. Um, looks like that's provided a good little bit of support there. And that's also the 50-day moving average. So I would like to see that hold. Um, but for right now, our stop's still down here at 32. LUV up another 1% today. So, you know, I don't know. Not much to not like about this. So, you know, again, off this 27.56 is still our stop. We had the breakout over 29, and now we're at 32. But, you know, at this point, there's really no place to uh, trail a stop yet. RSG, again, just looks like this may be doing... And you'll notice that, you know, a lot of these stocks are doing this this past week, but it looks like we're just kind of consolidating sideways there. We did move our stop to 37.50. Uh, I don't know if it was this week or last week, but, you know, so we did take some risk off the table right now, just letting... RSG work. And the final one to Soro. Um, looks like to me that this may want to come back in and test this 62 level. Uh, I think if that's the case, that would probably be about the time that trend line and the 50 day moving average would coincide with that. So, you know, if that's the case, then we can hopefully move our stop up to the 6176. But for right now, stop still down here, 5908. Kind of giving the room, the, giving the stock some room to breathe. Um, we're pretty much almost at the previous highs from back in 2013. So for right now, you know, I, I would expect it to do some consolidating and some you know, back and forth action up here. Let's take a quick look at the watch list. DPS close to breaking out, nothing yet. Dow, I'm personally long. This is coming close to another breakout for me. Um, <clears throat> you know, this was one that we talked about. But again, we need to wait for that 54.15. And to be honest, with the three-day weekend, you know, I don't think we're taking any positions uh, before that anyway. National Oil Well Varco. We talked about this yesterday about this potentially being uh, a reversal signal in here. This this gravestone doji, and sure enough, today it proved me completely wrong, and you know, put in a nice uh, a nice hammer. So I think um, you know that one looks like it wants to move higher as well. Kroger. Again, right below that resistance, 50.90, so 51. WDC, we, we're getting that breakout that we look, what we've been looking for. Let's take this off for now. Okay, so but again, there's some tails right through here. So, you know, if it would have closed at the highs, I think it would have been a little bit of a different story. But for right now, I think, um, you know, that again, that's another one that we're gonna just take a pass on. And we'll just redraw that trend line, something like that. But this is a nice looking setup, um, especially if you were uh, looking to get long some technology names. And the last one we're going to look at is HCP, which is providing a nice little pop. But again, you know, with the portfolio and uh, and the market, and I'm sorry, and the the holiday coming up, I'm not really looking to put on much more risk than we have on 
already. So with that said, guys, that's it for tonight. Again, you know, just let these positions work. You know, with, between tomorrow and Friday, I, I just don't see a lot of uh, a lot of big moves coming. I think it's going to be more of a subdued end of the week. Um, you know, so enjoy the enjoy the rest of the week. Don't don't uh, don't try and be a hero out there. Try and keep your position small. You know, obviously we're in what we're in, and, and we're going to remain that way. Um, but I think right now with the market right below two thousand on the S and P, uh, the holiday weekend coming up, I just you know again. I don't see much happening between now and the end of the week. So we'll, we'll have another strategy session tomorrow. And then uh, I'm going to try and do some blog maintenance over the weekend, um, try and update some of the pages and stuff like that. So there is a possibility that I will break everything and we will no longer be able to use the blog as is. Uh, if that's the case, please obviously make sure you're following me on Stock Twitch, Twitter, Google+. Plus. And subscribing to the YouTube channel to get all the links to the videos um, that I do post. And then you can also subscribe to the nightly recap and have them delivered directly to your inbox. So we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great night.